how was that experience coming from India to Spokane? Well, my dad actually had worked really hard when he was in India to get a PhD and to become a professor. But when he came to the US here in Seattle, he found that no one wanted to hire an immigrant who had a PhD. So finally, when he applied for a job in the Spokane Water Department, he actually left off part of his education. They hired him over the phone, and we've been there ever since. It's kind of amazing that you would have to leave off something that you were probably so proud of to have earned in order to actually be able to provide for your family. So, I mean, how else was it that your family was able to navigate the system in Spokane? Well, they really didn't have anyone else to help navigate the system for them. So my parents had to figure everything out for themselves. How to register to vote, what school we needed to go to, how to get a doctor, just really basic things in life. But they figured it out. And one of the things I remember very vividly from growing up in Spokane is every few months, we'd get a phone call. And the person on the phone would say, is this the Nandagopal house? And I'd say yes, because I was the youngest, so I always wanted to answer the phone first. Um, <laughs> and they'd say, OK, well, Nandagopal is definitely an Indian name. Um, can we talk to your parents? And the next day, that family would be having dinner in our home, and my parents would be telling them all of the same things, where to find vegetarian food, where to go to pick up spices, what to do when you need to get your kids to school, where to get vaccines, really basic things. And you know that was really how my parents instilled in others and in, in me this sense of building a really active community. And I remember times, especially around 9-11, when my family wasn't that welcome in Spokane. But my family has made that our home and continue to commit to building a sense of community even when there hasn't been one. And that commitment to helping immigrants and building community is why I am here and I am part of One America. What my parents and family do on a small level in Spokane to welcome and support immigrants is what One America does for thousands of immigrants across this state. 